Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the second part on confidence interval. The topic of this video is confident, confidence interval for mean when sigma or population standard deviation is unknown. The objective of this video is to find the confidence interval for population mean when standard deviation sigma is unknown using t distribution with n minus one degrees of freedom. First, let's know the fundamental thing required for calculation of confidence interval for mean when population standard deviation is unknown. When the population standard deviation is unknown, the sampling distribution of sample mean follows t distribution with n minus one degrees of freedom. We already know from the sampling distribution of sample means using the central limit theorem, if the population standard deviation is unknown, the sampling distribution of mean will follow t distribution. Now to find the confidence interval for the population mean, our confidence interval is always the sample mean plus or minus the margin of error, which is same as your true mean of the population, that is mu, is between sample mean minus margin of error and sample mean plus the margin of error. Or uh, in order to calculate this one, something that we need to know is the value of this margin of error. And margin of error is given by this formula here, which is t alpha over 2 times s, the sample is standard deviation, divided by the square root of the sample size, which is same as t alpha over 2 can also be written as t critical, t critical multiplied to standard deviation of the sample divided by the square root of the sample size. Now we are going to use this theory to find the confidence interval for population mean when the population standard deviation is unknown. Okay, here is the example. Karen one wants to advertise how many chocolate chips are in each big chip cookie at her bakery. She randomly selects a sample of 75 cookies, that's your n equal to 75, and finds that the number of chocolate chip per cookie in the sample has a mean of 16.5. Sample mean 16.5. So lowercase s is 16.5. No, the sample mean that is x bar is 16.5 and a standard deviation of 3.4. So sample standard deviation s is 3.4. What is the 90% confidence interval for the number of chocolate chips per cookie bag of four? big chip cookie. So we want to find the 90% confidence interval over here. Okay, so we label n, the sample mean and sample is standard deviation. Now what we know is the population is standard deviation sigma is unknown. So the sampling distribution will follow the t distribution with n minus one that is 74 degrees of freedom. Okay, now we need to find the critical value for T at 90% confidence label. So for 90% confidence label, the area in the middle is 90%. So the area on the tail will be 10% in all divided into two parts, so 5% each. So this will be 0 0.05. So this value is T alpha over two, or you can say T critical. This one is positive, this one will be negative, and we can find that value using calculator. So if we go to second, vars, and inverse t, which is number four, area over here is 0.05, and then the degree of freedom is 74, and if we paste this in the main screen and hit enter, the value will be negative 1.657 negative here and positive there. We'll just take the positive value. After we have this critical value, we are going to calculate the margin of error using the formula. Margin of error equal to t alpha over two multiplied to standard deviation of the sample divided by square root of the sample size. Let's substitute these values. So t alpha over two is 1.6657 multiplied to s is 3.4 divided by square root of sample size, which is 75. 
pause the video and type this in your calculator you should get 0 0.654 okay that is the value of margin of error so the confidence interval is your true population mean mu lies between the sample mean minus margin of error and sample mean plus margin of error now let's substitute the values for mean of the sample and margin of error so that is 16.5 minus 0 0.654 is less than mean or mu which is less than 16.5 plus 0 0.654 so if we add and subtract so if we subtract this first you should get 15.846 is less than the true mean which will be less than 17.54 so meaning of that is with 90 percent confidence we can say that the true population mean lies between 15.846 and 17.54 okay with 90 percent confidence we say that the true population mean lies between 15.846 and 17.154 okay in this video we learn to find the confidence interval for population mean when population standard deviation sigma is known using a t-distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.